Hello friends, create with me today as we encourage ourselves with the different quotes of Dr. Miles Monroe. They are so encouraging and I believe they can be of help to, to you out there to live your life purposefully. And one of them is, the greatest tragedy in life is not death, but a life without a purpose. Solid character will reflect itself in consistent behavior, while poor character will seek to hide behind deceptive words and actions. People generally fall into one of three groups. The few who make things happen, the many who watch things happen, and the overwhelming majority who have no notion of what happens. Every person is either a creator, fact, or a creature of circumstance. He either puts color into his environment or like a chameleon takes color from his environment. When purpose is not known, abuse is inevitable. Healthy relationships should always begin at the spiritual and intellectual levels. The levels of purpose, motivation, interests, dreams, and personality. You must decide if you are going to rob the world, bless it with the rich, valuable, potential, untapped resources locked away within you. It is the same way with dating. The time you are most prepared for dating is when you don't need anyone to complete you. You'll feel or still in you a sense of worth or purpose. Being open to correction means ourselves vulnerable. It makes us vulnerable in life. And many people who are not willing to do that, they end up thing in life. A word is an event, but marriage is life. In other words, when you get into marriage, it's lifetime. It's not just a show. People don't need to know that you've been, you've been married for 20 years. It is a lifetime. You don't need to show up that you're in marriage. Just enjoy marriage, grow, be purposeful. Don't allow the marriage to drive itself. Otherwise, it will end up collapsing. Fact is not a gift, but is the result of hard work. A woman may be beautiful, but have poor character. It may be a business genius, making money left and right, but like common sense, courtesy, sensitivity, and compassion. One of the greatest tragedies in life is to watch potential by untapped. God's and desire, his pleasure is that we love him. We cannot please God unless we love him. We cannot love him unless we know him. And we cannot know him unless we have faith in him. Remember, without faith, it is impossible to please, please God. Suck is not a comparison of what we've done with, with what others done. Do not make the mistake of telling God that you have nothing to offer. That's simply not true. God does not create any junk. We are a sum of what we have from all who have us, both great and small. God did not create woman from man's head that he should command her, no feet 
that he should be his slave, but rather from his side, he should be near his heart. Marriage is two, perf- two imperfect people completing themselves to a perfect institution. By making perfect vows from imperfect lips before a perfect God. A person's readiness to date is largely a matter of maturity and environment. Desire is craving enough to sacrifice for. If you sacrifice for anything, I mean, what are you desiring for? God is the source and giver of our prosperity. But remember, the Lord your God, for it is He who gives you the ability to produce wealth. And that is found in Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 18. Junk is in the eyes of the beholder. Some look, others see. You know, this is so special. A man leads with his mind, while a woman leads with her heart. For a man, language spoken is an expression of what she is feeling. For a man, language spoken is an expression of what he is thinking. A woman says what is on heart, while a man says what is on his mind. This is a commitment to do something later. But a vow is a binding commitment to begin doing something now and to continue to do it for the duration of the vow. Some vows or contracts are for life. Others are for but a limited time. And sometimes you may know as you're making the contract. That's why it's very important to read the contract before signing it. When trying to communicate with each other, a husband and wife should be careful to make sure vows or their voices and says agree with their words that they are king. Submission is the witness to give up our right to ourselves, to freely surrender our exist on having our own all the time always win at times marriage is about winning it's about like coming to an agreement we're right or wrong god never demands anything that he does right for whatever god commands us to do he equips us to do it that is powerful past is the past who or what we used to be doesn't matter anymore. What matters is who and what we are now and who and what we can become in the future. It is not enough just to know who we love. We need to know what we love. We need to know why we love the person we love. This is critically important for building a happy and successful relationship. Within the overall context of loving his wife, a husband first and primary role is to be the spiritual head and the covering and teacher in the home. Through his words, lifestyle, and personal behavior, the husband should teach the world the will and the ways of the Lord to his wife and children. Every person, every husband and wife should measure their marriage by unchanging standard of the principles found in God's and only God's word. Humility is simply believing and accepting what God says about us. And God says that we are anything but worthless. Oh my God, but anything but flesh. We are everything beautiful in the eyes of God. We will never obtain God's kind of marriage simply by going along with the God, doing what everyone else is. We have to dig deep into the heart of God to develop 
or to discover these principles. Time spent prayer is not time wasted, but time invested. Life outside your ideal environment destroy your potential because wrong environment always means death. The husband provides direction, the wife maintenance, you know. The husband will always give direction out of love. The, world, the, the, the wife will always maintain the direction. We see Proverbs 25, 28 says, A city whose walls are broken down as a man who lacks self-control. In other words, if we do not control our lives from the inside, somebody else will control them from the outside. It's powerful. From citizenship is a spiritual reality, but it is all a mentality. As believers, we already have the spirit of God, but we need to learn the mind and the heart of God. No matter what type of leader you are or how widespread influence, you face personal temptations, challenges, and stresses. And only a foundation of character will sustain you and your leadership. We should always keep our behavior or performance separate from our sense of self-worth. Few people who marry plan for their marriages to fail, but neither do they specifically plan for success. When we share our sorrow, our sorrow is halved. And when we share our joy, our joy is doubled. His dream on this earth was to rule the world of man from the invisible realm of the spirit. Your purpose can be fruitful only in the time you are given on earth to accomplish it. What is prayer? Is man giving God the legal right to pop and permission to interfere in arts affairs? We are not to be so concerned about who approves our disapproves or, or disapproves of us. But remember that God's approval is what counts. Those whom God approves are approved indeed for sure. When God approves you, it means you are approved indeed. So we need to seek out for God's approval in whatever we do. Yes, avoid doing things because everyone is doing it. It's because everyone wants me to do it. But what is the will of God? Let us follow the will of God and everything will be fine.